Hi everyone, this is Andrew Tsai and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install FIFA 21 on a Mac. So by far the very best way to play Windows games on a Mac is to install Windows via Boot Camp. This process is really quick, it's completely free to do as well. I mean Windows you can use indefinitely for free without paying anything. And if you just follow the link on the top right of the screen which is popping up now, you'll go to my Windows Boot Camp tutorial which will install Windows on a computer. So Windows is the best way to play FIFA and the way to get the game is to go to Origin and um, install the Origin client. So once we've got the link which I'm going to put in the description we're going to go to this download button here and um, what we're going to do is download the Windows version because we're booted into the Windows Boot Camp partition. So we're going to download that and run it. So once this installer comes up, we're just going to install Origin in its normal location, agree, and press continue. And this is going to download and install the latest version of Origin. So once we've logged into the actual Origin client, um, you'll be able to install any games that you own or can access on the Origin library. And so if we go to the actual Origin website, we have the option here to get the game. So if you click on that, there's various ways to actually purchase access to the game. So firstly here we have a 10 hour trial, which will allow you to play the game at $3.99 per month or $19.99 per year and cancel at any time. And the Play Pro version is like a premium version of the same thing. Um, these are by far the cheapest ways to play the game, but um, you can also obviously buy the game for £54.99. And um, this is relatively expensive, I'd say. There's other versions as well. Um, a cheaper way to do it would be to buy the game through Games Planet. And I have a link in the description here. So £52.54, you get a small discount and you'll get some sales at Christmas time as well if you're buying at that stage. Also, just be aware that Origin is being rebranded to the EA desktop. So this naming will change, but the games and everything are all going to be the same. So once you've gained access to the game, either through the subscription or buying it through Games Planet or through Origin, what you can do is just click on the actual game itself and then click download and that will download the actual game onto the Mac. Just press accept and next, accept and next. So that's downloading now, we'll see how that gets on. In the meantime, it's a really good idea to get some kind of controller. Um, I do recommend the Xbox controllers because they're the most compatible with the Windows on, on a Mac. If you click on the top right, there's a link to a tutorial on how to pair uh, any Xbox One controller to the MacBook. So now that the game's completely downloaded, I'm gonna launch the game and see how it runs. So when you click on the play button, it's going to launch this settings launcher. So if we click on game settings, what I really recommend that you do is turn down the screen resolution to as low as possible, sticking within the MacBook's aspect ratio of 16 by 10. So that means going at 1280 by 800. We want to turn down the graphics settings as much as possible because this computer only runs Intel integrated Iris graphics 645, and it's gonna be really pushed by this game, which is a brand new, um, console game. So we want to turn the rendering quality to low, we want the um, anti-aliasing options off, we want to lock the frame rate to 30 frames per second, and I'm going to press OK for that in a moment. Um, this is just confirming that we're going to use a Xbox controller with the um, letter style, and we're going to leave the audio settings as they are. So we're going to press OK there, and then I'm going to press play now. So that's going to load in full screen. It's taken a few seconds, but we'll get there. I'm going to be playing with this um, Xbox One controller. So once the game's loaded, we just press the next button and we're going to load into 
the intro. It is something very special indeed to make it to a UEFA Champions League final. Now these two teams... So we can kind of see this temperature is rising quite a lot. It's going from to the event 70 to 80. It's probably going to hit 95. We want to make sure that we have good cooling around here. It's not um, blocked by any air. Well, we started with 32 teams, Derek. Seems like an eternity ago. Now we're down to the best two. I've not played in the Champions League final. I surely wish I was playing tonight. Turn the clock back. Let me run out there, please. Champions League. It's where everyone wants to be. Only two sides can accomplish that feat. And Lee, it's going to be fascinating to see what happens tonight. Well, it is. It's the big part of it. will be after the game. But as players, it's very difficult to try and stay in the moment and not get carried away. And that's the job of the senior players in the dressing room, but also the coach. Look around your team, see the calm ones, have a word with them, get them to pass the message on, stick to the game plan, go out and win the game. Thiago Silva in central defence. Neymar plays with Angel Di Maria on the flanks. And up front, Kylian Mbappe plays with Mauro Icardi up front. And on the back of that particular challenge, will the referee let the matter rest there? So it's interesting that during the gameplay, we are hovering around 80 degrees, whereas in the cutscenes, it's hitting 95. And that could make it difficult for player and official. Well, it changes the complexion of your game, the way you play your match especially if you're a defender. You start thinking about the challenges instead of executing them. Icardi. The quality of pass needs to be a bit better. I would imagine, Lee, in the pre-match team meeting, the defenders will have been told to keep an eye on Neymar. Well, I love watching him. He's got quick feet, quick mind. He wants you to come close to you so he can get past you. Oh, big chance! Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. And that was a very fine read. Offside for decision. Salah. Henderson. He's trying to create something. Simple stop from Navas. Di Maria. Well, pressing high is something the visitors like to do. It can take a lot out of any team, but well, they have the measure of it, the goalkeeper. Corner given. Four. 
Robertson. Will he play it in? And he's broken free. I don't think in the grand scheme of things he's going to be terribly proud of that headed attempt. Well, heading practice and training next week, that was pretty average to be fair. Well, that's the frustration of a manager right there, watching his players come so close and being powerless to help. Di Maria. And now Gay. Now, what can Paris Saint-Germain do from this position? Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied. And they remain locked together. Well, the goalkeeper has earned his call there. A fabulous save. again Alexander Arnold Fabinho it's with Roberto Firmino so after that a goal kick it'll be Pressure high up the pitch. In search of space. What an important piece of defending. And the Liverpool throw in forthcoming. Opportunity to take the lead. Disappointed about that end product, but he'd be happy they're creating a chance or two. It is to be a throw in. He continues his run. Snuffing out of the cross there. Mane. Ronaldo. Might be a chance here. Oh, what an opportunity. It's been squandered. Well, you dream of 1v1s as players. He's had one and he's squandered it big time. When you look at those stats, Derek, it tells a story all of its own. They haven't created enough chances. The forwards have been off the game as well. They haven't really utilised the wide areas for me. But they should go on and win the game, to be honest. And over comes the corner. Can he give them the lead? was a horrific mistake but the goalkeeper has made amends well oh, he's a happy boy now just look at the smile on his face two minutes ago he wasn't so happy just not looking confident in possession Firmino now Mo Salah the delivery from Salah here scoring in the Champions League final. Oh, it's a brilliant moment, but just look at the fans, Derek, look at the fans. Well, here's the replay, it's a great ball into the danger area, and that's a good header. Eye on the ball, concentration, it's a lovely finish. So 
slightly different vantage point in terms of the goal that was scored. get the ball moving again what effect will that goal have on PSG we're going to find out here so two minutes of stoppage time to be added on and the right place to cut out the pass Roberto Firmino Di Maria that is that for the first half here. So as you might be able to tell, that was my first ever game of FIFA and I'm not very good at this game. But um, I did find some interesting uh, findings from the temperature. So it seems like when cutscenes are running, it's, it's getting extremely hot and it was approaching like 95 degrees Celsius. But in the actual gameplay, it was hitting about 70, 75, 80 degrees, which is perfectly fine for this kind of computer. So um, I think that you'd be able to run this game long term without any issues, even on the base level 2019 MacBook Pro. And I'm sure that it would work well on other Macs. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe and check out my next tech video.